Hello, my name is Kenneth Andrew Harrison. I'm interviewing my grandfather, John Suber, who's with us today on January 14, 2008. Now, Papa, when and where were you born? Um, I was born where I live at, 1403 Liverpool Street in uh, 1957. And where did you live in Manchester? Where I live at right now. My parents were one of the first African Americans to ever buy property on Liverpool Street. My father purchased that home, uh, it's no longer there, but he purchased that property in 1951. Uh, Describe your favorite games. Uh, we used to play basketball on the street a lot. Uh, we had, uh, basketball was our main game. We used to have all our neighbors and, and other um, kids that I grew up with come around and play. And, and then we were in the uh, football league with Shifty uh, Cheryl, um, who was the football coach in Milton, uh, who coached Little Leagues. And so those were the people we grew up with. Describe what your family did to go for fun. Um... Everything was, in the, back in those days, everything was pretty much built around the church. Um, my mother uh, would take us to uh, church, and then there was Bidwell. Um, there was Father O'Malley. There was uh, Dr. James Robinson, who really had a lot of the um, after-school programs under Bidwell and under other types of programs. And uh, we used to... Um, uh, if it wasn't around the church, it was around, uh, you know, Bidwell and doing activities within the gym, skate, basketball, and a number of activities. But it was always through those community development programs. Which schools did you attend? Uh, I attended uh, Manchester Elementary, and then I went to uh, Conroy, and then Allegheny, and then Johnson C. Smith University. Um, all of my brothers, uh, again, we were raised by single parents, but all of my brothers did graduate from college. Um, what was a typical day like in elementary school? Um, school was interesting. Um, uh, again, you know, there was a lot of discipline because back then, uh, if you cut up in school, um, not only did you get a battle, but you also, <laughs> you also were in trouble when your parents came. Uh, because you would get a second um, correction, or shall I say, uh, a whooping across the rear end. Tell me what Manchester looked like when you were a child. Um, when I was growing up, uh, Manchester was going through a transition. Uh, there was there was some racism in the community. Uh, I had uh, some unfortunate. Uh, life experiences. Um, uh, I was with a kid when I was 12 years old uh, by the name of Keith Codwell and uh, we were on uh, a neighbor's uh, private property and uh, I witnessed him getting shot in his head uh, and so uh, you know I remember those days and it was very um, there was a lot of riots that broke out there was a lot of um, black and white um, confusion Can you describe the house you lived in as a child, and is it still standing? No. Yes. The house that I was born in, uh, my mother owned uh, very large duplex homes. Uh, actually, my mother and my father. Um, <coughs> on the corner of Liverpool Street, and it was uh, one of these huge, huge homes. Um, probably had 13 rooms. Um, as a matter of fact, we lived right behind Dr. Robertson, um, whose home I still think is the largest uh, in Manchester, um, but um, they were big. Um, I remember rooms being 25 by 30 feet, 25 foot ceilings, a uh, lot of space, um, big homes, um, uh, like the ones you see in the 1300 block of Liverpool. But then in 1977, uh, my mother had an opportunity to um, to rebuild, and right as she was rebuilding, she passed. <coughs> so she really never had a chance to enjoy the home. What was special about Manchester as a neighborhood when you were a child? Uh, when I was a child,
child, I consider Manchester being more like a village. Uh, other parents would also um, be responsible for your uh, upbringing. If I did something, uh, there were other parents uh, that would chastise me, and it was okay with my mother because when they told my mother, there was another licking coming. Uh, that's the way we grew up. I mean, today, um, it's not like it was when I was growing up. I mean, um, and, and, and there was a different uh, level of respect. I mean, I grew up, I, I would never say to an adult, uh, no or yes. It was yes, sir, and no, ma'am. And if you ever got caught not speaking that way, that was a problem, too, when I was growing up. Be shall